Nick, could I have a little more roads, please? Am I too loud? Oh, that's amazing. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Well, at least now you know we can do acoustic tours. Yeah. Just the two of us. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> Hello, Philip. Hello, Hannah. <laughs> so we're Strange Dance. Mm hmm I mean, I love the title. Thank you very much. How did that come about? Um, that Actually, the title was the very, very last thing that appeared for the record. I've been listening to a, a podcast, um, Laura Barton. Oh, I love Laura Barton. Yeah, talking with uh, a musician, Laura Fell, and, uh, and she started talking about, you know, that, the, the strange dance trying to kind of marry up all these very seemingly irreconcilable elements in your life, mm. which is kind of basically what life is really, isn't it? Yeah, it fits with all the artwork that we've been playing yeah. over the last few, yeah, yeah. few days. Absolutely. It's beautiful. It's like a collage of different colours of life. And even Stuart was saying, you know, there was the colours from the sessions from what we were wearing, like photographs that he took. Yeah. And even like the colour of my hair and things like that. So it's like a dance within, yeah, within the yeah. music as well. It's nice. And it's, uh, yeah, I mean, one of the paintings is a band band photo. Is it? Yeah. Which one? The one with the um, the reds and the oranges and, and oh, the browns in. That is uh, that is a band photo. So good. Yeah. <laughs> but what I remember most about the recording process was that you were so open and free. It, there was no pressure on me as a performer. It was almost like whatever I played, you were like, that was great. And I was like, Wow. Well, you know, like, it was. I know, but like I'm so self-criticizing of everything I do. It's so nice to just have somebody like kind of say, yeah, that's good. When you're working back back in your studio mm -hmm. and you have all those voices going, how do you how do you find your way? How do you sidestep them? A lot of torment. A little bit like your probably like how you feel about lyric writing. Yeah. But it's also those voices that are you not know, good enough that keep me moving forward and trying to find ways to explore and push boundaries but it takes a lot of energy to do that huge amount of discipline yeah yeah, yeah. and I, I i do find that um that's half the battle of of writing music is battling with yourself Changed and shaped us. 
show Don't let the silence grow How do you start writing? I mean, I'm guessing you don't think rhythm or kit first. I like... don't, no. Actually, oddly enough, I mean, given given what I've done for the past three decades, you'd think that would be the starting point. Mm. Lyrics? Being a bit... Lyrics are No, thoughts? no, no. Very, very, very laboured process with me. The odd word, a, a line might fall into place quite quickly. Um, but then I just kind of go into this horrible funk when I've actually finished a song. Oh, and, uh, really? Yes, I'm not a very good person to be around when I'm going through that process. <laughs> I can't so. imagine that. <laughs> so it's not lyrics. Um, it will be sitting down generally just with guitar or piano and uh, just kind of like monkey on a typewriter until mm. something comes out of it that I think, oh, that's that sticks. But then do you not find then when you release a record you have to talk about it and then start to analyse how you made it and where it comes from. That's possibly why the lyrics take so long, because you're kind of very aware of how um, how they'll, they'll resonate, I guess, and, and how they could be interpreted. Mm. Um, I'm very much like you. I'm more right. based in the sound and chord world. Like if I hear a song on the radio or if I, even if, even my favourite album, which is like Joni Mitchell, mm -hmm. I still don't hear the lyrics. I'll sing the wrong lyrics for years and years. All I hear is the chords. And when I try to do the lyrics, my brain doesn't work and it won't soak them in. And it's almost like lyrics just like are there for a moment and then they, they're gone like dust. So yeah, I've veered away the last few years from songwriting because of that fact that I found it so difficult and I just enjoy how the emotion can carry you with with scoring. So coming back to Joni Mitchell and misheard lyrics, what was the biggest disappointment when you actually saw the lyrics? Oh no, the, when I actually saw her lyrics, <laughs> yeah. I mean she's like a genius. Absolutely. Yeah. You can't like be disappointed. Can you?
Can you remember the very first piece of music that you ever wrote? Well, I think I can. I think more the, the very first piece of music that I recorded, right, which was for a school project. And I remember it because I've been learning the piano and, and the violin at the time. I loved the key of A flat minor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> very specific yeah. but I just thought it Love was it, too. <laughs> it was just so nice to play yeah. around and it just had the right tone and it on the piano that I had at the time it was yeah. lovely and but the I didn't have no equipment I only had like a one of those little ghetto blasters that you could record but it had no mic attached yeah. to it so I had two of them and I'd record one and then play the other one back into the speaker of the other one and record on top of it this was your it, first pe- first yeah, ever piece. Yeah, and just layered it up. So by the time it had finished, it had this amazing delay on it that sounded really cool, but it was so distorted from the original piano. But I'd layered it up with like a bit of violin and a bit of like, but I had a boring drum. But that was my first piece. Do you um, remember your first piece that you ever wrote? I yes, I do actually, and it was um, my dad had been away on a business trip in the states. And it's, so it's been when I was about 12 or so. And he brought back uh, a little Casio um, calculator. Yeah. But it was base, It was kind of like one of those early ones where, where it was laid out as a, as a little mini keyboard on there and you could record onto it. What? As a calculator? Yeah. Uh, it Amazing. was fantastic. And it kind of, so I sat down and... You can just, work out your chords as well as your maths. <laughs> but I just, I remember picking out a tune on there and then recording it and yeah. thinking, there we go. <laughs> so I really enjoyed these sessions with you because of the acoustic guitar element, because I know them from the record as being with all the production and then right. hearing them on the acoustic and it's a completely different song. Yeah. How do you find hearing things differently do you do you have any expectations of how it's going to be I get well coming in to do um, record strange dance I uh, I kind of wanted to get them to a point where they they had a structure to them um, they would work kind of either on piano or on a guitar but that was kind of getting it to the starting line and I knew the people that I wanted to work with on the record I knew all the all the different musical voices which I felt would blend really well. I could hear the, the kind of soundscape to it mm. and, and the scale of this, that soundscape, something that would kind of wrap around this kind of intimate vocal to create a refuge in that space, if you like. All these elements that you wouldn't have quite expected to, to work together, kind of they, they, they all knitted together. Your, your talents and, and <laughs> Laura, Laura Moody and, and everybody. And, and Adrian and 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 Quinta, and it was just oh, so it was it was a magical experience making it. Really joyful sessions, and and then at the heart of it, you had um, Marta, uh, who just did such an incredible job mm-hmm. as a producer. Yes, she's amazing. You know, incredible. She... and do you see this as a record that will last for a few years, or is it something you'll do for a year, or do you have your, an idea of another one in mind? It feels like a record that would you need time with to, to actually kind of let it all sink in because there's a lot going on in there really um hopefully it will have a nice long life it has been the most incredible experience making it so can't get too greedy <laughs> oh you're so nice you're like the nicest man in the industry <laughs> the illusion is complete <laughs> Starting out today, I feel alive. 
alive and the air has changed I'm not alone I'm not alone It's taken ages to Find a way but I made it through I'm not alone I'm not alone Days. This is the place where I belong Be lost in another world I believe our time will come We shift and we change I took a long time coming round But I'm standing Still standing